What's up guys? It's that one nerd Jacob. Welcome to Openings with Jake. We don't have too big a stuff to add in today. We got some speed duel packs and I bet you're thinking, oh, well, there are only four cards a pack. You'll know if you grab a speed duel pack, what are you going to do? Well, let me open these and show you exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, it comes with three packs in each pack, I guess you could call it. Oh, and also, I'm sorry about this double strip here. I got new light strips, and I have them set up pretty much all over my room. And one of those places is my desk. So to run it properly, I had to kind of do this. <laughs> so, I bet you're wondering, how do we get through these packs without me knowing which ones are which? I will tell you how we get through it. A little thing... <laughs> called scotch tape. I'll have to get the other side too, but I'm literally just going to tape two packs together so that one, it's not as easy to tell which packs are speed duel packs. Like this still feels pretty thin and I might be able to tell from this part, but at the same time, if I were to grab it from the side, I'd be like, oh, that's just a normal pack. Also, that makes it to where instead of just opening four cards from a speed duel pack, we get eight. So I feel like this is the best option I could come up with when adding speed duel packs. Uh, I don't know if I'll add too many whenever it comes to the speed duel format because it's a dual format that I like. But the full size packs obviously have better cards. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Speed Duel cards are bad, but for the most part, it's just basic, normal monsters. So, yeah. Alright, so we have our, uh, now three Speed Duel packs. We got all the cards in the bag. So we are going to throw these in, give them a good old shuffle. And then we are going to pick out our three packs. Okay. First one is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Flames of Destruction. Next is Pokemon XY Steam Siege. You know what? Let's do four just because I was gone a week. Because why not? Pokemon Shining Legends and Pokemon Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. If you couldn't tell, we do have a lot more Pokemon cards in here than any other game now. So it's a good thing we got three of them out of the way. And before anyone screams at me saying, it's supposed to be three. I, like I said, I was gone for a couple of videos. I just want to treat you guys to me opening more cards than normal. All right, so we're gonna start off with Yu-Gi-Oh here. Throw that empty pack. Shadow, oh, let me get that back to one time zoom. Shadow Construct, Altergeist Kidolga, Vindred Nightmare, Trickstar Nightshade, Rainbow Refraction, Goki Face Turn, ah yes, Wrestling Turns. <laughs> Cybersal clone or Cybersal. I feel like that's Cybersal. Background Dragon and Crystal Conclave. Um, another thing, I I'm gonna start putting Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Magic cards in the Pokedex because, like I said, there's a bunch of pages at the front that just aren't needed, um, and it's pretty nice. I might show you guys, maybe not this video because, like I said, I do have stuff to get done but uh i learned rarities and that's always nice so i think it goes steam siege lost thunder then shining legends if i'm wrong scream at me later but that's the order we're gonna open them in so let's open up an xy steam siege pack there's the code card for anybody that wants to put that pack in online don't have to worry about an energy. All right. Zuelos, Claw Fossil Anorith, Skiploom, 
Litleo, Meryl, Ponyta, Dano, Litwick, whoa, <laughs> hey, nice. We got a Yon Mega Break. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say I didn't expect to get a break because it is the set where a bunch of breaks are in, but that's that's cool. So that takes the place of our Reverse Hollow and regular Rare Weevil. Nice. I will have to add this into the rarer cards that are in the collection. Well, actually, I, do I put that in for the Yon Mega spot? I might for the Pokedex. I don't know. Only time will tell. All right. Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. Eh. There is the code card for you guys. And Energy Water. Nice. All right. So we have Pseudo Wudo, Go Goat. Moo Moo Milk, Blitzel, Onyx. That is a hefty Onyx there. Jeez. Spinarak, Poplio, Morlull, Reverse Hollows of Trico, and Regular Rare Primarina. Okay. Last pack of the episode. And then we get to put new stuff into the Pokedex. Woohoo! Alright. There is the code card. That completely bounced forward. Alright. So we have a Warp Energy, Electrode, Floatzel, Bulbasaur, Golit, Voltorb, Breloom, Litten. Reverse Hollow is Lily. Hey. Ooh, we got a GX. Ooh. Oh my god. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. We got a Zoroark GX. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love Zoroark so much. Maybe one of these days I'll make like a top 10 favorite Pokemon. But yeah, Zoroark is definitely on that list. One of my favorites of all time. Got a GX. Oh, this makes me so happy. Oh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Even if this is already in the Pokedex, since it's in a GX, I will still be putting it in the book no matter what. Couldn't have asked for a better way to end the packs for today. Okay, so we're going to start off with Kanto, obviously. And the first one we have is a Bulbasaur. We have the exact same Bulbasaur already, so no need to add that in. I'm actually gonna scoot this over so we can see both pages. Uh, next is Ponyta. So let's get over to where Ponyta would be and see if we're gonna be adding it in there. And it looks like we will. Ponyta is a new addition to the Pokedex. Next, we have Onyx. Yeah, we already have an Onyx in there, so that's all right. Then we have Voltorb and Electrode. We have Voltorb in there, but Electrode is a new entry. All right, next we have Johto. So it starts off with Spinarak, and it does not seem we have it. And the page where Spinarak gets put in it's pretty much right out of frame. Let's see if we can scoot that over and change that so we can see it. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay, next is Meryl. And we do not seem to have a Meryl in here either. So that is another addition. 185, Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo has not been collected yet. And then we have Skiploom, which, again, we do not have. So all the Johto Pokemon we got today were able to be added to the collection. So let's move on to Hoenn. First is Trico. We got the exact same one. It's just that this one's a Reverse Hollow. So I'm not going to worry about switching it out unless it's like 
a holographic or a promo or a ex gx something like that so reverse hollow if we already have it not gonna worry about it all right breloom do we have breloom in here and we do not so we will put it right next to its pre-evolution shroomish there we go that was all for gen 3 so let's go to Sinnoh now all right first we have floatzel and we have to go i guess not too deep i thought it was going to be deeper in and we do not have a floatzel in yet so that is yet another new entry there we go and then we have weavile 461 Man, we're getting a lot of new entries today. That is awesome. I love seeing that. Eh, if it'll actually go in. There we go. So next is Unova. All right, I forget Zorark's Pokedex number just because GXs do not display Pokedex numbers unless it's like hidden on the card and I'm just too blind to see it. But as far as I know, it, it doesn't show numbers. So we will just have to hope that we can find it. If not, I will take a break in the video and then use my phone to look it up. So first we have Blitzel. We do not have Blitzel. Man. Love seeing new stuff added. I want to hopefully, by the end of openings with Jake, because I, I really can't do this forever, <laughs> uh, but by the end of openings with Jake, I hope to have a full, complete Pokedex. That is the goal. All right, Litwick, number 607. I might as well just flip one page at a time since I'm looking for Zo. Oh, there he is. And I know that it's a hollow... And I know I said I won't replace it normally, but I just really want the GX in there. Oh, it's it's amazing. I am so happy I got this. Ugh. So now I just got to figure out something to do with this one. I don't know yet. All right, Litwick. And it's not looking like we have a Litwick. Oh, uh, yes, we do. It's just a different type. And it was covered by a different card, but that's fine. We don't have to get all of these as new entries. I feel like all of them being new entries would be exciting, but also boring, you know? Okay. Then we have Golit number 622. We do not have Golit in the collection. Let's add that boy in here. And we got Dano and Zuelos. 633, 634, neither of them are in. There we go. Awesome. Also, I don't know what region Yon Mega is, so I will add that off camera. I'm not, I'm trying to not stop recording if I don't have to. Kalos. So we have Lit Leo. I think we already have one in here. Yep, right at the bottom there. And then Go Goat. I, yeah, we have the exact same one, but it's a reverse hollow. Finally, Alola. So, exact same Pop Leo. Next is More Lull. 755. Exact same More Lull. Why do I have Primarina behind? Whatever. Litten and Primarina. I don't think we have any of... Okay, well, we do have the starters, or else I would have added the Poplio. But, yeah. Awesome. So, we filled our Pokedex more. We opened an extra pack. This episode is running long because it's already been 20 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Social media links are in the description if you want to see what I'm doing outside of YouTube, which really isn't that much. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.